Greetings Consciousness, welcome back. And so in this video we are talking about the meaning or what is witchcraft. Witchcraft. This is something that needs to be understood. And so we are talking about this topic in this video. Now the first thing that we need to understand is in creation. When we talk about creation, we mean, or I mean, the manifested world, or the manifested universe or cosmos, that is creation. We need to understand that behind everything, there is a spirit. And so that which has not manifested is the source of all creation. This is why some people cannot understand that a creator does not need a creator. You see, this is what they call in India, Maya, the illusion. This nothingness is what has manifested all that there is. You see, the human mind will struggle to deal with this. But um, it is what it is. But that is what we know to be called God or Brahma or Atum or whatever name, Allah, the self-created one. You see, that everything that has manifested in this cosmos, we have positive and negative. You see, it's very important that we understand this. Therefore, in order for the spirit self to create an experience outside of himself, there has to be duality. Because the spirit is whole, the holy one, that's why it's called the holy one, not lacking anything. So everything that comes out of the holy one has to be duality, separation has to occur. That is why in your Bible you are told, where Jesus talks about only God is good. And in Kemetism, Tawiti said, the word good should not be used for anything but God alone, because man does not in fact <coughs> understand the meaning of the word good. You see, pure, that's what we call the source of all energy. You see? And so to understand witchcraft, we have to understand this. Even in your Bible, you are told that there were two trees in the garden. One tree was a tree of life, which is metaphysical, represents unity, equanimity, wholeness. You see? Just like every baby at first is whole. But the tree of good and evil really is duality separation okay and so it's called good and evil man now knows that which is good and evil which means the soul in the original state did not know evil but was pure when incarnated in matter matter has its own desires therefore the war between the spirit and the you know the flesh will begin once we realize that this body has needs you see a child does not go running around looking for food because the child depends on the mother so it is always at bliss once the child grows up and becomes hungry and there's no mother or father to feed the child they need to go to the fridge or to the kitchen to start finding food therefore if they cannot find food they have to go somewhere to find food and if there's no food somewhere, then the child will have to take from somebody else to eat because everybody wants to survive. Life is precious, you see? And so this duality, you cannot have experience without duality because your original state, this is why they described in the Bible as Adam and Eve was placed in the right hand side or the eastern side of the garden, there was unity. But in order for experience to take place, we have to be separated from the pure self. Because if you are still pure, 
there will be no experience because you're lacking nothing. You are whole, you see. Therefore, this duality had to be created. And so this good and evil had to be created in the universe all for a divine purpose, you see. And so when we speak of witchcraft, what we are talking about essentially here is one who has given himself to the negative forces of the universe. And there are different layers of this, you see, as opposed to the children of light who give themselves to the positive aspect of creation. This is the Son of God. That is what we thought in Kemetism, in ancient Kemet. You see, and so African spirituality is not about blood sacrifices. African spirituality is unity, wholeness with the Supreme Self. You see, therefore a witch is someone whose negative thinking will manifest that which they desire and even go to a level of invoking negative energies to fulfill a negative desire. You understand this consciousness? And so if somebody took someone to, let's say, a malam or some, or comfort or something like this, or shaman, shall we say, and say, I want this person to lose their job or their child or something like this, that is witchcraft. That is seen as evil. You see, and when the person is told to perhaps bring a human being or a cow, whatever, for sacrifices for these entities, this is how they invoke these entities to achieve that evil deed that this person wants to do. As opposed to the child of light, somebody's child is sick, they go down on their knees and use their own power to pray for that child or use your imagination to help that child get well you see and so you are told even when you go to these people they will tell you all spirits are created by god of course because the universe consists of positive and negative spirits nobody goes to the movie to watch a movie filled with saints that's why the human being loves movies with violence it is exciting to us but when you discover yourself there are certain type of things that you do not watch because everything goes into your subconscious mind and then it will come up at a certain point. You see? And so to summarize what a witchcraft is, is those who have given themselves to evil forces of nature. You see? Because in nature, there are benevolent beings and malevolent. Benevolent means good. Malevolent, on the other side, is ill feelings towards others or evil. You see, but all these came from the Supreme Self. Because without evil, you all of us will be pure. There will be no experience. We might as well just stay in heaven. Because in heaven, there is no lack of anything. We are pure. You see, and when we speak of heaven, we are talking about the spirit world. We are not talking about the manifested world. That's why many people cannot get away from the, the physical, thinking that they're going to go to heaven to eat chicken and rice, even have sex in heaven. It's not going to happen. Everything here is fleshy and it's temporal. It's not permanent. It decays. It dies over time. But the true self resurrects. And so when I hear foolish people talk about there's no God, it makes me laugh because every farmer knows in order to grow their crop, they have to plant the seed, let's say a seed of a corn in the earth. That farmer also knows that when he plants the seed, he himself does not have to dig a hole, go beneath the seed and push it upwards, right? 
He knows and trusts universal law that all he has to do is put some water on it. Today we can even buy fertilizers and put it on our land and things grow quickly. But essentially we understand that everything goes to the earth and it is reborn, bringing forth life in abundance. This is a universal law. So whether you call the creator God, Allah, Atum, whatever name, Brahman, we all understand that there is a power that is beyond the human limitation. Whichever force this is, or whatever name you call it, this force exists beyond our strength. You see. And so, therefore, the orange tree carrying a spirit behind it does not bear mango fruit nor does a monkey gives birth to a chicken because the spirit determines that which that particular thing should produce we are designed as a wonderful and a marvel creature our digestive system You see and so when you listen to fools they will just mislead you to think that we are here to mine gold and don't get me wrong man was created to have dominion over the earth therefore every man knows that they have to find something it is intuitive to do to feed them every man knows this but sometimes through lack of opportunities because of the world that we have built today has deprived many people from actually using their hands to work. You see? And so with this little video, I want you to understand because just as a seed is planted in the earth and brings forth fruit, because you can put, for instance, this table, if I can get some corn seeds and put it here, I can put all the fertilizer I want on the corn seeds on this table and nothing will happen. But if I put some sand on here and put a corn in it and put my fertilizer on it or even put water on it, it will germinate because there is life in the earth and through sunlight. These are universal laws. But the one who created these laws, that's the one that I think all human beings should always seek to find it is very important otherwise our existence is foolishness you see that is why you don't hear any world leader address the nation as consciousness but maybe when the, the leaders start to address the nations as consciousness then you know that leader knows who he is and knows who you are then everything they do will be beneficial to everybody there will be no selfishness you see, everything that we are doing is from our ego mind, left brain. That is a problem. So today, we have shared videos on the astral plane through those who have um, had near-death experiences. And I have a short clip, a video that about half an hour that I'll share with this, um, this video at the comment section. So you can also understand what this doctor is talking about. You see? Because Dawiti talks about when man, you see, when man is in a body, the senses deprive him of the spirit world perception, or shall we say, our perception of the spirit world is shut down. In the Bible, you are told, no man can see my face and leave, not no man. No mortal shall see my face and live. Which means these two physical eyes that goes with the physical self is limited. It cannot see the spirit world. But just as Tauti, thousands of years, over 10,000 years ago, told the Kemites, this body limits us from seeing the spirit reality or the spiritual reality, which has today been proven to be true. Because people who came out of their body in NDE, near-death experiences, has now today confirmed 
we have beings who have reincarnated. This is the marvel of the universe, see, or the universal mind, or the creator himself, that at times bring people back to remind the rest of us not to take this world seriously. Because in envy, those who live their body perceive a world that we cannot see. That is why all these astral projection, all this stuff, I, I'm like, leave it behind, drop it. Because you're going to have a long time flying in space. The whole universe is yours. If man uses his reason, and only man is given reason that we may seek knowledge to know ourselves, no other creature on this planet has reason. And so knowledge of self is key. Therefore, the Kemites, they said, man, know thyself. In the book of Jeremiah, the Bible, biblical God also say, the one who wants to boast can boast in this, that they know me and understand me. Know me means they believe in me. Believe is an illusion. But you have to know the nature of yourself. And when you know the nature of yourself, you know God. Because you are essentially a spiritual being. And the universal creator is a spirit. And at death, we all enter this realm of the spirits. And so I hope you understand what witchcraft means and more. And so with this said, do take care of yourself. Enjoy your lovely Sunday. Peace.